Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Michelle. So today I'm going to be doing a natural hair update and a trim video. So I've been natural for two years now and it's actually my two year natural hair anniversary. So I thought this would be a great time to do an updated video and show you guys my progress and where I'm at. So like I said, I've been natural for two years now. I started off with about two to three inches of hair. Um, after I big chop and now I am grazing bra strapling or I am bra strapling um, so around that area I've been trying to like go to a stylist for the longest but it just hasn't been working out so I've been holding off on like doing a really good trim on my hair so the state that my hair is in right now is not in a good state just because I have I tried to stop using heat so about three months ago I tried to stop using heat on my hair but the thing is heat is so convenient for me because I literally just wear my hair either straight or I wear it in a ponytail so that's what I've been doing to, with my hair lately I have been pretty consistent on washing my hair making sure that my scalp is clean um and then you know i'll just do my hair after that like i did take maybe like one or two breaks in between using heat but i have been using more heat than i should and thank god i have not gotten that much heat damage the damage that i have gotten to my hair is split ends and thinning ends but that's because I, I was wearing my hair in buns so that's the damage that I've occurred to my hair so that's pretty much the sum of my hair right now I'm going to show you guys how I trim my ends so the first thing I'm going to do is section my hair off into four sections Okay, so not too much has changed with the way I trim my ends. Um, I do have a video on how I trim my ends on my channel already. And I pretty much do the same thing when my hair is straight. I trim my ends this way. Now, disclaimer. <laughs> this is how I trim my ends. I am not a professional. I am not a licensed cosmetologist. Because I know there's going to be somebody in my comments that's going to say, Oh, you should have went to a stylist. Oh, you should have did this. Oh, you should have did that. This is my hair and I'm going to trim it the way that I want to trim it. So I have some scissors here and I picked these up from Sally's. So I got these shears from Sally's and these are the easy cutting and trimming venture shears. So when I was in Sally's, I was asking her about particular shears that I should use. You know, I'm not a stylist and what I should use um, just to trim my ends. And she suggested that you don't purchase shears that are that cost under $20. And I can just... The, re, I, the whole point of me going to Sally's was to stay away from Walgreens shears because these are Walgreens shears. These last maybe one or two trims. After that, they become dull. And let me tell you guys what I did. I actually, it was it was a pair that I got from Walgreens that I recently, probably like a month ago, clipped my ends. And I knew that I shouldn't have because I knew they were, they were dull and not as sharp. So I clipped my ends with those shears from Walgreens and it made my ends 10 times worse. So I got more split ends after I trimmed my ends. So luckily I think my hair did grow back um, within the month within that month. I only cut probably like a half an inch off, but luckily I believe my hair did grow back from that. And um yeah, don't use dull scissors. They will make things so much worse. So these type of shears from Sally's and these are make sure you get durable Japanese steel. Um I heard Japanese type scissor type shears are better for your hair because I don't know it's something about the blade being different I'm not too positive I heard that these are the type of shears that you want to use to trim your hair so the first thing I like to do is make sure my that section is fully detangled and then I'm just going to take my two fingers run it down that section of hair and then trim off just a little so when you're doing trims at home or you're doing trims by yourself I always like to just take off a little bit of hair and not too much. You want to go to a salon or a professional if you plan on doing like a big trim. And my hair is very uneven from when I 
did my trim the last time with those dull scissors so this is like I have to clean up my ends because my hair my ends were very bad after I did that trim so right now I'm just checking to see if this is this section is straight uh, if it's like cut even and then I kind of just trim it to make sure it's even so I pretty much do the same thing in the back I detangle the section run my two fingers down and then trim off a very small amount of hair um, and then yeah I just continue to do that until I'm all done So this is the side with the trim and this is the side without the trim. check to see if my hair is even and it does look pretty even so that pretty much concludes this video i hope you guys enjoyed it if you have any questions or any comments leave them down in the comment section and i'll be sure to answer them for you guys um thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video bye